Apple had just rolled out the fourth beta of iOS 18. The latest beta includes some small but notable changes to several features. If you're willing to dive into the details of the latest beta, I have got you fully covered. That's it, let's get a start. In the latest beta of iOS 18, Apple had added a new controls menu option under preserve settings inside the camera app settings. The controls menu is designed to preserve the previously used camera tool when expanding the controls menu. Another notable change in the latest beta is the completely new design of the hidden folder in the app library. Instead of showing an icon of an eye with a line through it, the hidden folder is now completely blanked out app squares. As a result, it seems to be a little less obvious. Apple has also included the brand new light mode and dark mode wallpaper options for CarPlay. Interestingly, these wallpapers look pretty much in sync with the wallpapers that have been added on the iPhone. The latest iOS 18 beta has offered a new way to access iCloud settings in the settings app on iPhone or iPad. For a change, there is an iCloud option alongside App Store, Game Center, and Wallet. Though you can still access the iCloud settings by tapping on your Apple account and then selecting the iCloud option from that interface. Apple has also added a new control center toggle for Bluetooth. Sadly, this toggle is not yet working. That aside, the latest beta also features a silent mode mute toggle and an accessibility eye mirroring option for a hassle-free access. Notably, the dark mode and the light mode icons now look perfectly synced to the light and dark mode settings on the iPhone when the automatic setting under Customize is selected. When you enable the automatic option, the icons now turn dark when the dark mode is activated and light when the dark mode is disabled. Unfortunately, it wasn't the case in the previous betas. Now you can adjust the size of the iPhone window on your Mac's display when using the iPhone mirroring feature. As someone who loves this new continuity feature, I find the ability to tweak the iPhone window size a well thought out addition. And finally, you can now access the Type to Siri and the Apple Watch mirroring features from the Assistive Touch menu. For folks who love to use the Assistive Touch on their iPhones, it's going to be a welcome change. And that's pretty much it. So, these are the major features and changes that have been added in iOS 18 Beta 4. Now that you have unlocked these new changes and features, make the most of them or take them through for a long spin and i'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks and guys till then stay safe and have your time bye, -bye.